Hi, in this video we'll learn how to multiply mixed fractions. So in order to multiply mixed fraction, first of all we need to convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So I'm going to convert this mixed fraction into improper fractions. Let's do that. So first of all I'm going to multiply my whole part with the fractions um, denominator. So 3 times 6 gives me 18 and 18 plus 5 is going to give me 23. So I'm going to write 23 here and then we don't change the denominator so it's going to be 6 times, then we're going to multiply 2 and 4, 2 times 4 gives me 8, 8 plus 1 gives me 9, so I got 9 here for the numerator and for the denominator we're going to write 4 because we don't change our denominator. Right now this is simple multiplication problem, we can just go ahead and multiply the uh, numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator, so let's do that. 6 times 4 gives me 24, and then 23 times 9 gives me 207. 207. So here you see that this is an improper fraction. We can't leave our answer in this form. We need to convert this into mixed fraction. So let's go ahead and convert this into mixed fraction. So I'm going to just use the long division method to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So let's divide this 207 divided by 24. Now, 24 times 8 gives me 192. So 24 times 8 gives me 192. And then we can just go ahead and subtract this. So 207 minus 192 is going to give me 15. So now we're going to leave it this step and write our answer in the uh, form of mixed fraction. So we're going to write 8 first because that becomes my quotient is my um, whole number. That's my whole part. So I'm going to write 8 first. And then I'm going to use my remainder and the divisor to form the fraction, right, to make the fractional part. So here I'm going to use my remainder. My remainder becomes my fraction's um, numerator and the divisor becomes my fraction's denominator. Now you see that 15 over 24, this doesn't look in the simplest form. I can still reduce this fraction. So I'm going to write this fraction here. And then I'm going to reduce this fraction. So, well, 15 and 24, I can divide 15 and 24 by 3. They both are divisible by 3. So let's go ahead and divide that by 3. And make sure whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do the same thing to the denominator. So we're going to divide numerator and the denominator by 3 so that we don't change the value of this fraction. 15 divided by 3 is going to give me 5. And then 24 divided by 3 is going to give me 8. So I can replace this 15 over 24 with 5 eighths. So the way we write this is 8 and 5 eighths. And that's going to be my final answer and I can't reduce this anymore. So whenever you have an improper fraction, make sure you convert that into a mixed fraction and then write that. Then, then that's going to be your final answer. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.